This is the Chola News Report for Monday 16, October, 2017. Schools and hospitals are closed in Ireland as the post-tropical hurricane Ophelia is forecasted to make landfall on the island. Surfers wait in the Atlantic on their surfboard, four big waves to hit on the eve of storm Ophelia in the county Clare town of La Hinge, Ireland October 15, 2017. The center of tropical storm Ophelia, which was the sixth major hurricane of the Atlantic season before it was downgraded to a tropical storm overnight, was around 300 kilometers south of Ireland on at 050 GMT on Monday, the Irish Weather Service said. The storm is likely to pass close to a west of Ireland golf course, owned by U.S. President-elect Donald Trump, who has been planning a wall to protect its greens from coastal erosion. Iraqi forces advance into Kurdish-held territory around the city of Kirkuk. Clashes have been reported in the surrounding cities. The Iraqi armed forces gained control of roads and infrastructure near Kirkuk from Kurdish fighters, including the North Gas Company station, a nearby oil processing plant, and the industrial district south of the city. The Kurdish leadership said on Saturday that they would not comply and leave all of the outposts. Mentioned in a list of demands, provincial governor Najmald and Karim told reporters. Voters in Venezuela go to the polls to elect new state governors, resulting in the incumbent Socialist Party winning the majority of the governorships, a result disputed by the opposition. Dismayed opposition leaders decried irregularities, called for street action on Monday and demanded a full audit, but did not immediately offer any evidence of fraud. The European Union could also take measures against Maduro, a former bus driver and foreign minister narrowly elected to replace the late leader Hugo Chavez in 2013. At home, however, it remains to be seen whether opposition supporters are willing to take to the streets again after four months of wheeling protests this year failed to pressure the government into holding an early presidential election, freeing jailed activists or accepting humanitarian aid.